Oh my gosh. I've waited so long for this exact moment. Having exercised, had a lovely shower, looking out at the hills, and then just preparing yourself for the day with sunlight streaming in. Oh, it's just, this is a big, big dream. such a beautiful day. I have been having a great week. I don't know if it's something to do with the weather here in Italy. What What is the weather like in your country? Here it feels, I was saying it felt like spring, but now it feels like summer. I just went for a walk today in a cotton skirt and I was so hot. Gianfranco is just, right now he's with my parents and he's literally just toddling around the garden in nothing but a nappy, just naked because it's so hot. I'm very excited because I'm in the bathroom and those of you who've watched this channel for a while know how long it's taken this bathroom and, and, and the master bedroom, uh, which is still getting finished, but I'm, I'm definitely feeling like I'm at the final stage now with the bathroom and so I thought I would take you through some of the fun stuff that I've been doing over the past couple of weeks, just looking for uh, the little finishing touches and uh, yeah, gosh, where do I where do I start? Let me think. Let me think because I I'm always filming. Like pretty much every day I'm filming, and then I sort of save stuff to to put it into a a renovating a ruin episode. So we're trying to deal with the uh, the wardrobe situation, and as you know, it's uh, well as you might know if you watched this <laughs> some of the past episodes, uh, we just needed more space, more than just you can get in one wardrobe and so we're trying to understand what the options were and looking around for something that that could fit uh, my clothes and Guido's clothes. We uh, were looking in secondhand stores which is always fun, we both really enjoy that, is just poking around and looking at all the antiques and uh, fortunately there are a lot of antiques, at least in Tuscany, uh, well when I say antiques I'm thinking of the Italian word antico but you know they're not technically antiques, they're just secondhand uh, stuff that's probably 50 or 100 years old, so I don't know if that classes officially as antique. But, uh, but it was so fun just looking around at everything and uh, walking through these little places and, and it's, I'm, I'm happy that uh, Guido really enjoys that, <laughs> that side of things as well. He loves finding a bargain and he loves looking and looking for something that's a that's going to match with our home. perché c'è lo specchio, c'è uno spazio per mettere... I don't understand this. Neanch'io. 
secondo me manca qualcosa sì. Sì, sì. that they forgot to put back in Questo potrebbe andare anche nel, 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 nel... No, questo è perfetto perché tu potresti mettere le, le camicie qua. No, no? Scusami, le, le giacche, le giacche. Questo? Look at this! It's, it, you just put it in, in, in a hole. That's for your and, shoes. And you sit down and put your shoes in. Oh, perfect. Wow. Perché sarebbe un po' di più di 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 un po' di ma allora ci conviene eh, noleggiare un, sì, un camion? Sì, cioè se noleggio un camion, bello è fatto. Mm. to get him to move into the bathroom and move into the bedroom. He doesn't like change. He's not, he's sort of been resistant about this thing from the beginning, as you know. But I'm hoping that once he lives here and sees it and feels it, it's going to, actually, I don't need, I don't need him to say it because I will just, it's, I'm already so overjoyed. So brushing my teeth and doing all these mundane things and it feels, Glorious, it just feels so exciting to be in this space. So we went to have a look at wardrobes, we took Gianfranco, this was around Florence. It's amazing what you can find. We went to this place and clearly there's just a lot of people in Florence who, you know, either they empty out a, I don't know, a villa or something and, and there is so much furniture that you look at and think this is beautiful and if you, even if you go into Florence in a lot of the boutiques of the secondhand stores and everything, they are selling them for like a thousand euro or more actually, 1500 and we and we were just seeing these prices for, for nothing, 150, 150 euros. So one has to actually stop yourself and say, at a certain point we were, we were saying, well, it, we bought all this stuff and then it cost more. The, the, the most expensive thing is the delivery. And so uh, he was saying, but what about the guest rooms? Perhaps we should get some stuff for the guest rooms. And I haven't shown you properly the guest rooms before, I don't think, upstairs. So uh, eventually, once I finish the master bedroom and this and everything, that we might get onto that. Uh, but yeah, so we were thinking about wardrobes for the, for the guests. And... Uh, Yeah, so we, we took, we were just looking around and, and trying to find a, a, a compromise between something that's functional and also uh, not too modern. Uh, fortunately, we have that in common. Guido and I both love things that are a little bit more rustic and, uh, and so we were trying to avoid getting something modern, but then clearly the modern wardrobes are much more efficient, so we ended up finding something which is, it's not, it's not my dream wardrobe, I mean it's not Guido's either, but, um, but it's, I think it's going to be okay because what I might do is it's cream and I might just, it hasn't got much character, so I might just take the, the, that grey green that I used for the, uh, the battiscopa, you know, the, the border in the, in the, in the, master bedroom and I might just do some little details and like a, a border and some little, uh, I don't know, little curls and things in, in, in each corner and uh, yeah, hopefully that could be, that could be an option uh, that will make, give it a bit more character. Before I continue, let me show you a bit of a mood board of the colours and textures that inspire me for the bedroom.
See, I was actually going with Guido's mother because she loves all this stuff and she has such a great eye. And anyway, I went with her and we looked at all these rugs and it was so difficult because I guess initially I'd gone to buy some fabric for the curtains. So I, I looked at all the curtain fabric and I had this idea I wanted some curtains that were really embroidered and, and had lots of character and weight. I liked the idea of weight. I love the idea of a, of, of a curtain just sort of spilling out onto the floor and being like, almost like a, a gown, you know, <laughs> just coming down uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the wall there. And I... fabric and I thought oh, this is this is very close to what I want it didn't have the exact right background color that I was looking for but it, it's beautiful I love the color it just I'm not sure if it will work in this room and um, but you, can, you can get sort of curtains that are just very basic and minimalist but I'm not in, in some cases I'm minimalist and in other cases I'm really not. I just saw this beautiful sort of uh, embroidered detail and I fell in love with this fabric so I then bought 13 meters of it. Our trips to Florence, oh my gosh going to the other house in Florence, I mean it's over two hours and it, we were just chock a block full and I have all of our fruit and vegetables because I always travel with lots of food that I, you know, I wanted to be able to make um, Joe Franco lots of uh, homemade dishes and and then we had, oh my gosh, like this giant roll of, of fabric, the 13 meters of fabric. I then bought sheets, pillowcases, mattress topper, um, a doona, a doona cover and that was all just in here. I mean, my face was like like this against against the fabric, and then on the other side I had the duty cover, and then I looked through a little hole to see Jim Franco, and like, Mama's here, Mama. <laughs> and uh, he thought it was hilarious. And then, not only that, then I piled in four, four antique rugs, and they were so heavy, it was like carrying a, 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 a dead body. Um, but anyway, I went, shopping with uh, Guido's mother who loves all of this stuff and she's just decorated their whole villa with so much love and care and you know, paint, hand painted every little detail in every room and reupholstered every piece of furniture on her own. So yeah, she's certainly someone who understands all of uh, my passion for all of this and uh, <clears throat> we went to look at the uh, fabric and the rugs and I got the fabric and then we went upstairs. We weren't even really intending to buy a rug because I thought it's not really in our budget. Or I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just get something from, I don't know, Zara Home or something. Something just lovely and, 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 and elegant, but just neutral, you know? And, uh, and then <laughs> they were having a sale on rugs, 70% off. But as you know, with handmade uh, Turkish rugs, or um, like they were from different places but basically high quality rugs even if it's 70 percent off it's quite expensive and I hadn't really budgeted for that because I'm you know paying for most of this stuff uh, and uh, and I thought oh gosh but hang on is should I have uh, should I consider you know adding a rug because it's it's like one of those lifetime pieces that you'll get and and it'll, it's our bedroom and we'll have our children just crawling on it and, and, and playing on it and I don't know, I just thought okay well maybe a rug in the bedroom is like an investment piece, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, Guido loves rugs as well, he's, he's just, you think that he might be a male and say oh I, I don't care, no, he cares, he loves, he loves and is very particular about 
about rugs and said, oh, it just gives so much character and it gives warmth to a room. I mean, not, not uh, in terms of just literally warmth underfoot, but, but just with the color and the, the, the intricacy that, you know, these ornate patterns, it, it kind of creates so much coziness and as soon as you walk in you feel like ah you know and also because we've ch we've gone for quite a, um, a basic color scheme with the walls you know all cream and the ceiling cream so and then I like to I chose for the sheets I chose just white um, and so yes there is the temptation to go crazy with the rug not too crazy I don't like you know, very loud colors but I wanted something Oh, it just my my goal with everything is basically to make it feel like it had been there already in this room for a hundred years. And oh gosh, we when we looked at all these rugs, there were so many different ones. Initially, when I was speaking with um, Guido's mother and also the man who was helping us, the rug, he was saying, okay, right, to get something lighter, you know, because you want the room to look bigger, you want it to be transseasonal. And so we went for light, basically lighter tones, and um, and we they, they sort of might look quite similar, but we were trying to we sort of limited because we didn't want to get anything with too many crazy colours that might clash, uh, or just we didn't want I don't want a rug that would really draw attention. I just want it to feel like oh you kind of notice it sort of in the background, um, but it's not like look at me. Anyway, we tried all these different rugs and fold it, flip it. Okay. okay. We'll see once again it's blurred. Yeah, that's all we we had. I mean unless we go into dark colours, which is reds and you know. They had no greens. No. Of course we looked I think if you put this or a carpet that is sophisticated. I don't know, there's something about the browns that. Ben, you don't like it. So no, no, I'm, just, no I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But it's, it's a light room. We want light in the room. Yeah. So yeah. Honestly, this blends quite well. You think? C'è quel grigio lì. Cioè, se vuoi mettere quelle tende lì, va messa la mouse house, sì. Delle due luna. Cioè, o metti una cosa più sofisticata in terra e una tenza tipo questo, questo non mi piace. No, none of them were quite right. Uh, and then also I got the fabric, and of course the fabric doesn't work with the rugs at all. It gets difficult because then if you want to have it and but I did you know what I tried the fabric up against the wall and I knew it I did, to be honest I don't know if you've ever gone looking for fabric and you you know what you want but then you fall in love with the fabric that's not right at all but you just fall in love with it because it's so beautiful uh, so I had to, I just bought it because I thought oh this I, how can I go past this I mean I, I, I it makes me happy just that fabric just looking at it but it's not right for this room or uh, certainly not right to, to go with these rugs. The truth is I was kind of looking for something that was like a forest green, that had some forest, like a forest green, but you see like a lot of these beautiful French or Italian tapestries that use these lovely shades of green. And uh, I just could not find any fabric that had that, that didn't have a, that had a, a pattern also that was floral or that was something that felt a little bit more traditional that wasn't like uh, you know a modern uh, print and I also wanted a little bit of embroidery or something and then I so and then I you know, changed tack so then I thought hang on is that a delivery anyway then I thought right maybe I'll take the fabric back see if I can exchange it I spoke about it with Guido and I said look we both really liked the idea of a rug uh, and uh, I didn't want to get anything sort of acrylic. I wanted it to be a, a beautiful, you know, handmade rug. So I, uh, yeah, I thought, okay, I'll change tack and focus on the start with the rug and then build out from there. So we went back. <laughs> we had a look at 
this one rug and oh have you ever had it with a, a rug or a fabric or a, I don't know something colors you, a piece of furniture perhaps and you you see it and it's actually like love at first sight I just something in it was just oh yes this is just us this is everything that we love it's it's traditional it's 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 soft it's understated it's but it's still ornate oh it was just so so <laughs> it was love and uh and i saw it and guido felt the same way he's like oh yes yeah that that's beautiful and of course that was the most expensive rug in the store it cost like three times as much as the other ones uh but I just, I just knew, I knew that putting it down, it would feel good. So anyway, we took all the other rugs back, another two and a half hours in the car, and then we came back here, and, uh, and, and sorry, then, then went back to the store, got that other rug, and, uh, and look, we got a, a red, classic kind of red rug as well, um, that was much less expensive, but, I don't know, there's something about this one with the blues and the greens. It just it just felt also we were looking for greens. We wanted sort of that that accent colour to be green uh, in the in the bedroom. So this just and then it has a little bit of red that or a sort of a, a deep uh, terracotta red that is uh, almost exactly like the tiles of the floor. So it just hides in so many different things and I'm very excited by it. Now we can't turn it. What do you think? <laughs> Initially, the first time I went with Guido's mother, I, I saw that rug, I felt like my heart Beat, and then I thought, no, it's too dark, it's too wintry. But it's not. It's like once I got it down, I think because the rest of the room is so light, and because the floor is dark, there's that's the thing is because the floor is dark, it kind of just blends in. Whereas getting a lighter rug draws your eye to the rug, and uh, and whereas with the darker <laughs> with the darker tone of the blues and, and greens, it, I don't know. It just it looks sort of rich and, and inviting but it, I don't know, it doesn't feel too wintry because honestly now <laughs> the, the the house feels summery we have I have the windows open all day and so yeah I think I think it's going to work also because I imagine like the bed is going to be very this crisp white like a beautiful uh these luxury sheets and that are just just ah oh, like a big white cloud and so I think between the cream walls, the white bedspread, uh, there's enough lightness and all the windows, there's enough lightness that I can play a little bit with um, the darker colours on the floor. We painted the doors so that it's a lot more clear now. You can see the beautiful uh, ironwork of the, of the beds and I think it's just a lot more, uh, it just flows a lot more. Uh, and obviously the bed will be moved right up against the wall. We just have it moved away at the moment uh, because we've got to put down the the rug. I haven't actually bought the rug yet. So they, I don't know, they, they just said, look, we, we trust you. They said, we look, you look trustworthy. So they let me take, I had thousands and thousands of dollars of <laughs> rugs in the car and they just let me take them to try them out, which I guess in the end works because I think we're gonna, we're gonna buy it. I think because it's this wrought iron, the style of the bed, you really see underneath it. You know, it has, it's not gonna have like a ruffle or anything. It's, it's you really see underneath the, the bed. So I think the rug, you know, is worth it. Oh, listen to me trying to justify it. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy with it. And then we, I started thinking, okay, so now what do I do? I returned to the other fabric. Then I thought, okay, I'm gonna order some curtains that are the green that is in the in the uh, in the rug and this sort of forest olive green I'm so impatient for them to arrive <laughs> so we uh, I bought some curtain rods there's just so many pieces aren't there every time we think okay I've got everything and you're like oh 
now we need curtain rods, now we need this, now we need, I mean, not that you need them, but uh, I guess you, every time you think, okay, we're almost finished, I'm like, no, no, there's more pieces to get. My father kindly put up the curtain rods uh, for me uh, yesterday. My father very kindly finished the curtain rods and we're going to cut them down, obviously, but uh, we're just leaving them at this length for now until the curtains actually arrive, uh, which I think they're arriving today. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I can't wait to have just some color draping down there. It'll be so, so welcome. And hopefully, hopefully the color is, is right. Uh, we'll sh we shall see. And now I'm just waiting for the curtains to arrive. The original plan was to have curtains that felt, that had that lovely weight and, and, uh, and, and, and were embroidered, but then I thought, look, if I'm going to go for the ornate rug, then I can go a little bit simpler on the curtains, otherwise it might just feel a bit too heavy. Uh, so I thought, okay, I'll go for a linen, just a washed linen in the, with the curtains, which also, frankly, I think in the middle of summer when it's really hot and the windows are open, that might feel a little bit lighter. Then I considered, um, this is like me awake at 4 a.m. <laughs> on Etsy. Um, then I considered, uh, what if I added a trim, like a little border to the linen curtains? This week I also took great pleasure in sorting through my toiletries to move them into the new bathroom. It's embarrassingly messy, but keep in mind I've been thinking I'd be moving bathrooms for the past two years, and then since Gianfranco was born I've had very little free time. But the truth is I don't use a lot of makeup. Maybe some moisturizing cream, uh, some mascara, and a little bit of powder. Not because I don't need it, but more because I've always been hopeless at knowing how to do my makeup. I love it on other women, but on me, I prefer a more natural look. So I sorted through all the stuff that could be packed away or thrown out and didn't need to come into the lovely new bathroom where I will try to keep things minimalist and tidy. I deep cleaned my brushes and lay them out in the sun to dry just when I thought it couldn't get any more beautiful and then I just remembered I have these fresh flowers so I just added them and they look so beautiful or should they go over here I have to fix these up they're a little bit messy but I just love the idea of rows and rows of white towels just waiting for you don't you love that when you go into a hotel or or a, I don't know, a beautiful day spa or something, and they have just rows and rows of fluffy white towels, and it always makes me feel oh, just so pampered and, and bright. This is a, a beautiful box that Brian and his partner Gareth got, Gianfranco, and it's so beautiful, it's from Florence, and I just couldn't bear to throw it out inside. There's this very luxurious baby creams and detergents and things and uh, nappy, nappy cream, but I'm just keeping the box in here because it's so pretty. And then I'm always searching for nail clippers and tweezers and I never, I always get, I always get, they always get lost. So I put them in this little box just so that that's nice and easy and neat. And then in here some 
hair things and razors and oh, it's all clean and tidy. have my Ortija soaps with the Fig of India scent and bath salts. Also, this is from Brian and his partner. I think we could just basically say, my bathroom, sponsored by Brian. <laughs> I've been procrastinating dealing with two very messy drawers like this one, mostly because I've been waiting for the big wardrobe and to finally move into our new bedroom. But it feels like maybe the wardrobe will arrive next week. And in the meantime, I've got these baskets for underwear, socks, pajamas and workout clothes, which will all fit nicely into the cupboard in the bathroom. I just love having everything sorted in different baskets so that it, no matter how jumbled they get, you, you've got everything neatly in categories. I figure if I move all my stuff in, maybe Guido will start accepting that this is going to happen this year. We are going to move into this bedroom and bathroom. Then my new dirty washing baskets arrived. Oh, my baskets arrived and they just look beautiful. Look against the stone and the terracotta. And got two, one for whites and one for darks. And look, oh my gosh, that light, that light. So I thought we might put a chair in here as well. It's always handy to have a chair when you're getting undressed. You want to sit down. Ha, ha, ha. And then look up close when you take them off. I, I like to have, I like a, uh, a, a clothes, dirty wash basket that has a lid so you're not sort of looking at it while you're in the bath, you know? And I just think this looks so, so lovely. See, Gianfranco's already been playing. I thought I might take out the uh, lower shelf so that it just looks neat with them both uh, pushed in to that little alcove. And Gianfranco has already been playing with these baskets and hopping inside them. <laughs> Haven't you, my love? Hmm? Oh, look at that, I just love natural materials. Look at that, you know, you're in the bath and you're looking across at it, so I wanted something to, to make our dirty washing look nice and neat. He's, uh, he's just so inquisitive. I mean, he doesn't sort of need toys because he just plays just for hours looking at one little stone or the way his shadow is on the, with the light you know, here on the floor. It's so, it's so endearing. Meanwhile, under the olive trees, my father has been building me a wooden hand towel holder. Oh, oh perfect. Oh. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good, you know, I mean, Guido's like, more like your height. I mean, does that mm. feel comfortable to yeah, wipe your hands on? Yeah, touch, yeah. That's all we've got time for this episode. Uh, next week, I hope to be showing you the arrival of all the furniture that we bought and the curtains and what else? Oh yes, and we're also, we're planning to have a day trip in Rome. So do come back next episode. Do give this video a like because it really helps me. And thank you most of all to the viewers who choose to give whatever they want to this channel on Patreon. It really, really helps and I do, do appreciate you. And these are all the names of these wonderful people who allow uh, you to watch this video without uh, having a sponsor. I, I really thank those people who make that possible. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you next episode. Alla prossima.